We begin with the first topic that is life processes in which we will start with excretion. We consume red, blue, green, yellow colored fluid juices but are we releasing rainbow colored urine? No. Our urine is clear. Excretion is responsible for it. It is the process of collection. It is a process of separation, removal, that is elimination of liquid nitrogenous waste from the body. You know, we have an organ which gives us life. That organ, I write over here, that organ gives us life. Guess what can be the organ? Four options are given to you. Heart, liver, kidney, urinary bladder. Guess what is the answer? Yes, the organ which gives us life is liver. In our liver, a process is set in. That process is called as deamination. What happens in the liver? Certain substances, which are proteinaceous substances, like amino acids. These amino acids, they are metabolized. They are broken down. And urea is produced as byproduct. This urea containing blood is brought from the liver towards the kidney. And the kidney, the kidneys, what they do? They collect, they separate, they eliminate the liquid nitrogenous waste. What the kidney does? The kidney collect, the kidney separate, the kidney eliminates liquid nitrogenous waste. That is excretion. Now, the blood vessel which is passing through the liver, this blood vessel, it carries blood which is oxygenated at the same time that blood is containing liquid nitrogenous waste. The kind of liquid nitrogenous waste main kind is urea. The type of animal we are, we are ureotelic. Why? Because urea is the main liquid nitrogenous waste. What the kidney does? The kidney collects the kidney separates, the kidney eliminates liquid nitrogenous waste. The kidney forms urine. You know, mammals, they drink a lot of water. We drink a lot of water. If anybody asks you, why do you drink water? You have to say, Susu, because water dissolves urea to form urine. Tell me, keep on drinking a lot of water. Keep on understanding, mammals drink a lot of water because urea dissolves in water to form urine. Now, this blood vessel which I mentioned you, that is the dorsal aorta. This blood vessel is the dorsal aorta. This dorsal aorta, it carries oxygenated blood to the kidney. Kidneys are the main excretory organs. As I told you, it is not what we take in from the mouth, it is what the kidney wants to retain. The main excretory organs of our body are kidneys. Simply kid, urinating on the knee, kidney, susu. Why we drink water? You know, urea dissolves in water to form urine. Now, any organ gives out carbon dioxide, yes. That carbon dioxide containing blood will be carried away by the renal blood vessel. See, this blood vessel from the dorsal aorta to the kidney, we call it as the renal artery. This blood vessel, which I have drawn it just now, which will be carrying blood away from the kidney, that is referred as the renal 
vein. Now, this will be the blood vessel carrying blood away, that is the inferior, the inferior vena cava. As soon as urine is formed in the kidney, slowly, drop by drop, it is collected, it is transported drop by drop from the kidney through these tubes. These tubes we call them as the ureter, they are long tubes. By a process called renal peristalsis, drop by drop. It's not like that, that you drink water immediately you have to go to the loo. Isn't it? No. As soon as we drink water, after few hours, we feel like urination and that sensation we get it in the brain. By the cerebrum, see, slow and steady, involuntary, contractile movement of the renal excretory system is called as renal peristalsis. In your early standards, in your early topics, you have studied digestive peristalsis. What is peristalsis? Slow and steady, involuntary contractile movement. But now, this is related with renal peristalsis. This blood, this blood vessel, as I told you, is dorsal aorta, renal artery. This blood vessel is renal vein, inferior vena cava. This organ, that's the kidney. These tubes, we call them as ureter, they are long tubes, they carry the urine, drop by drop, they carry it towards the urinary bladder. See over here, this is the opening of ureter, they obliquely open like this, into the bladder. Urinary bladder is a distensible sac, it gets inflated with the collection of urine, they are present muscles which regulate the flow of urine. These muscles over here, they keep this tube urethra constricted. They keep the tube urethra constricted. So this is urethra, this is the spinter muscles. It keeps it constricted. But during urination, when adequate urine is collected, as I told you, we get a sensation from the brain when adequate urine is collected. At that time, voluntarily, we go to the loo, the spinter dilate, and then somebody will say, what a relief. See over here, this is a urethra. It's a short tube as compared to ureter. Urethra transports urine from the urinary bladder from the urinary bladder to the environment and that process is called as urination. It is a mechanism of voiding off of the urine. See, we have started with excretion, then I taught you deamination, then I taught you renal peristalsis, and then of late we have discussed about urination. It is a voluntary action. By the way, the urinary bladder has a capacity to store around 350 to 400 ml of urine. But don't measure. It will not be exactly 350 to 400 ml. Don't think that it will be one drop more or one drop less. It depends upon the environment. Tell me when do we sweat more? We are sweating more during summer season. In your early standard, you studied vasodilation. In winter, we drink less water. We sweat less. In winter, the urination yet too is more. During summer season, the urination is less. This urinary bladder collects urine temporarily. The spinter muscles regulate the flow of urine. You know, in small infants, the urination is not voluntary. At times we may drift them away, you have spoiled my shirt. But some parents, they teach their babies urination. One and a half, two years, babies, they take them towards the loo, they open the door, they open the tap, they let the baby see the tap water flow, and they make the sound, shh, shh. And afterwards, the baby, they look at the tap, and they might also, they might also open the tap when they want to urinate. These are reflexes of urination. Anyway, 
the kidneys they are the master chemist of the body they collect they separate they eliminate liquid nitrogenous waste kidneys apart from excretion they maintain a mechanism of water and salt balance of the body this process of maintenance of water and salt balance of the body is called as osmoregulation osmoregulation they regulate the water and salt balance of the body during summer season the urine released is hypertonic that is containing more salt it is thicker whereas during winter season as i told you winter vasodilation in summer vasoconstriction in winter during winter season the urine is containing a lot of water it is voluminous hypotonic and we urinate also frequently that is thinner is that clear so we will just begin with a life activity a life processes what are life processes they are the processes which happen in living organisms the life process which we have started just now is excretion